Okay, we were told as soon as we get in today, we need to check the tortoise corner. I mean, there's Rafiki. <gasps> there's Rafiki, and I see what they were talking about. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Did this come from you? It must have, because you're the only girl tortoise here. We have tortoise eggs. <laughs> Do you know what this means? Like, I mean, okay. Sharon's a girl. She, it means she's a girl, yes, because there was debate when we first got her. Everyone commented saying she was a boy. She is a girl, and we know that <laughs> yeah. for sure now. And also, this means that, okay, they, this could be infertile, but if it's fertile, these are hybrids. Yeah. Because this is a sulcata. That's a sulcata, and... And Rafiki over there is a leopard tortoise. Yeah, you're a leopard over here. And he tries every day to show his love to Sharon, but usually from the wrong end. So <laughs> we've never seen any positive locks, but if this is fertile, that means he figured it out. Out and, oh, oh, okay. Well, not this egg. This one's cracked. Oh, yeah, look at that. Did she step in? Did you step in this, Sherry? She didn't want her babies. That's a thick eggshell. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. she uh, definitely has calcium in her. Yeah, in she her. does. That's like a quarter inch thick just about. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's the membrane making it look thicker, but that's kind of cool, actually. Have we ever considered eating a tortoise egg? <laughs> I don't really want to. Don't wanna? I mean, maybe, maybe if we get one that's not already possibly rolled in poop. Okay, okay, true. The, the, won't do anything with that one. But, okay, first things first, Sharon here probably has more eggs in here. Whether they're fertile or not, we need to help her get them out. So what we're gonna do, obviously if we thought, we thought she was gonna lay, we would have given her a lay box yeah. beforehand. She wasn't even showing any signs of like no, nesting she wasn't behavior. digging or anything. She wasn't exploring, just, she just sat right there. And I like how she laid it right there on the concrete. <laughs> um, but what we have to do ASAP is set up a lay bin for her so she can successfully pass the rest of these eggs. So we have a lay substrate mixture in this tub, which was actually Chloe, our snapping turtle's old tub. We pulled it out of storage, and now it's a lay box. It's a little bit wetter than we'd like it to be, so we're hoping that this basking light, which is also a UVB light, will help dry it out a little bit, and then it should be perfect for a lay substrate. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to dry because the air is dry here in Minnesota right now, and this light is on it. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put Sharon in, and we have about, about eight inches of soil here, so I think that should be sufficient enough from what I've been reading for her to dig down and deposit those eggs. So let's go put Sharon in. All right, Sharon, come here. Come here, mama. Oh, how many more eggs do you have in you? Oh my goodness. Well, there was apparently one more that she sat on. Oh. Look, do you see that? There's another egg that is squished. Oh, look at that. She must have just laid that. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, girl. Yeah, let's get you in the lay box right now so you can lay the rest of your eggs safely. Here you go. This is a better place to lay your eggs. Just dig them down, bury them, don't lay them, and then sit on them, okay? I mean, you can't tell her what to do. Yeah, she is a tortoise. She's not really listening to me anyway. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to check on her tomorrow. Leave her alone in this room. We actually have her in the classroom because no one will be in here for the next five days. So this should give her some nice peace and quiet. I might turn off the other lights in here and she has her daylight that'll go off at night. Yeah, we can turn off like these lights and leave those three on. Oh, that's a good idea. So Here, let's we'll just do that. Yeah, oh, that'll work. It's, it's dark in here, but it's still light enough that she thinks it's daylight. Yeah. And she's got her little heat lamp on her. Yeah, I think this lighting will work. Yeah. Uh, this is a nice unused room for a little while here, so she'll have some peace and quiet. Yeah, so it's dark. It's yep. still a little bit light behind us, and, and we, she's got her basking bulb. Yep, basking in UVB all right here. Yep. So, yeah, let's just leave her alone and see how many eggs we have yeah. when we come back tomorrow. Okay, Mama, do your job. Well, it's been a few days in her lay box over there, and Sharon has not laid any other eggs. So I think we may have scared them back inside her. I don't know. Maybe she was only going to lay a couple. I don't know if maybe that's all she has in her. Maybe just a couple, but that seems odd. I have a feeling there's still more eggs inside of her that she hasn't laid yet, and we don't want them to be in her too long because that could cause some issues. So we're going to bring her to the vet, get a radiograph, because that's really the only way to see if a tortoise has eggs in it, unless you're really good at palpating. But something this big, I don't think you would be able to palpate eggs. I don't know how you'd palpate the shell anyway. I don't know either. So we're going to bring her in and see what what our vet recommends.
So, turns out, I'm at the vet, turns out Sharon has 28 eggs inside of her. That is a lot of eggs still inside. No wonder she only had two, because there's, there's a lot more still. She had 30 eggs total. So, she's actually, right now, with the vet in a different room, she is getting an injection of oxytocin, which is used to induce labor in both humans and reptiles. So, it's used to, like, initiate contractions and just should help her um, start pushing out the rest of these eggs. So, fingers are crossed that it works. All right, so here is the attempted lay box we gave her. This is lay box round two. She just needs something safe to sit in while the medication takes uh, effect and hopefully encourages her to lay her eggs. And oh, is that? Oh, that is what I think it is. Sharon, hello. Oh, no. <gasps> You're squishing more of your eggs. Ah, stop, stop laying and squishing them. How do I <sighs> proceed here? I'll just get this out of the way. Okay, wow, look at that. Oh no, is that one already crushed? No, it just has the shell of another crushed one on it. Well, that's okay, we weren't planning on incubating all of these anyway. Look how spherical this egg is. It's just like a golf ball without the dimples. That's insane. Um, where do I put these? Eh, collecting eggs, it's like Easter. We'll go in here. All right, we have one. We're looking for 28 <laughs> eggs total, but it looks like we have one, two that she squished there, three, maybe four there. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna take this. Good job, Sharon, pushing these out. These were in you for too long, so I don't know if they're even gonna hatch in the, ah, don't squish it, no, stop moving, stop it. Did you squish this one? You didn't, okay, so that one's good. All right, got that. Got you. This one has like yolk from another broken egg all over it. Okay, those can go in there. Before she squishes that one, I'll pull that. Oh my gosh, she's just not even burying them. I mean, which makes sense. The medicine should just essentially induce her. Okay, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, probably eleven, maybe twelve, thirteen. Definitely not twenty-eight eggs though. So we are still waiting for more eggs from Sharon, assuming. She didn't bury them, which I don't think she would have. No, she didn't bury. She's just laying them on the surface. Okay, keep pushing them out, Sharon. All right, it has been 24 hours since Sharon's first injection, and we have 10 eggs that are whole. There's one, two, three, four-ish, probably collective there, plus two more that were thrown out yesterday. So we're at 16 eggs of 28 that are still in here. You still have more inside. So she has to go back for another injection at the vet now. Check out Sharon. She's here at Dakota County Technical College for the day, coming to have an x-ray, check and see if she's got any eggs. She decided she's going to oh take God. herself for a walk. All right, so it looks like she still has some eggs left here, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine showing in the video. So uh, I know Emily had mentioned that uh, these tortoises lay their eggs in um, hatches. I don't know if that's the correct word. Uh, batches, we'll call it that. But uh, otherwise she looks good. So yay, Sharon, you're passing your eggs. All right, well, Sharon, I believe has laid as many eggs as she's going to for now because she her most recent oxytocin treatment resulted in no additional eggs. So I have a feeling she just isn't ready to lay the next wave of eggs yet. Now we will of course be monitoring her very closely. She may reabsorb them. We'll have to bring her in for another radiograph in probably a few weeks just to Hooray. see what's going on with those eggs. Yay, a third radiograph. What we're gonna do is just let her relax, live in the zoo, live her best yeah. life. Maybe she'll lay more when she's ready. Yeah. You're such oh, a good wow. girl. She's gotten a lot better with face touching. Yeah, she has. Oh my gosh. Just living in our zoo for what, almost two years now? This January, next month will be two years. Yeah. That's crazy. From being abandoned outside yeah. of a zoo to yeah to laying eggs, laying here. eggs in another zoo so we're gonna let her i guess right now anyway meander in the classroom now the first batch of her eggs has actually been in the incubator now for about a month because it takes around four weeks for you to be able to candle the eggs and see if they're fertile so we're gonna do that next and see if those eggs are actually fertile or if they're just duds okay here are the eggs we did not put them in incubation on camera because we were so focused on sharon and her pushing out the eggs and being he healthy and safe but we have this many eggs that she laid and did not squash two four six eight ten of them and before we candle these eggs quick shameless plug snake discovery glitter version oh, of our yeah. shirt it's very sparkly and shiny you can get this at snakediscoverystore.com okay now it is time to candle the eggs all right i'm gonna go over here and see how the new camera does with darkness that's right we have the new oh, camera it actually looks pretty good really i think we can candle with just those lights you on. think okay yeah like that actually looks really good with nice. that low 
light. Okay, good to know. Hooray, new camera's Hooray. panning out. Okay, we're gonna turn on flashlight. Okay. And now we're gonna take each egg individually, hold it up, hold the flashlight against it, and if we see just yellow yeah. inside, at this point, that means the egg is not fertilized, it's not gonna hatch. If we see red veins, that means- Isn't it, it a red, red ring? I think it's a red ring, yeah, that's right. I'm so used to snake eggs. If we see any red, really, yeah. that will indicate that it is a fertilized egg. So we are, I'd be okay either way. I kind of want fertilized eggs. Well, we want one for us. Shamelessly. Okay, we so, need a baby. Okay, yeah, before, okay, so I'm gonna put it off a little longer. Right, this let's is. Let's go back over here and turn this light back on. <laughs> Here's the light, everybody. Woohoo! We got All lights right. again. I should explain myself before we do this. <laughs> so, the world does not need more sulcatas no. in existence, to be honest. In the There's wild, too yes. many of you. Thankfully, with breeding efforts, their population was brought back yeah. from very scary numbers in the wild. However, sulcata tortoises don't make a good pet in captivity no. in most cases. We She's get them a in our small rescue. One. She is, yeah, yeah they much so bigger. Small. So we don't necessarily want to hatch 10 baby sulcata tortoises. Granted, these are gonna be, if they're fertilized, hybrids, 50-50 sulcata, and their dad is a leopard tortoise. But if they are fertile, we think we would want to hatch one for ourselves for the zoo. And we have four friends who we trust to take good care, good permanent care of baby sulcata mixed tortoises. So that leaves us with five eggs. Yep. So if they're fertile, I think we will incubate five of these eggs but not all of them because I don't know where the others would go and we want to be responsible about this. Yep. So let's get to candling. All right, we got the lights back off. <sighs> okay. Got the camera, the, not the, got the camera rolling. Yep. That's a good thing. And we got the phone with the light on. Are we ready for this? Sure. Okay, first egg candling. Yellow, it's a dud, not fertilized. Oh no, okay. That would be okay if they weren't fertilized though. Did you not put the X back up on that one? Weird, did it rotate? Yeah. Weird, I guess not. I don't know what happened there. Well, it's not fertilized anyway. Second egg. Oh, it's oh, also it's yellow. Yellowy. Oh, look at that. These oh. might not be fertilized. You can also leave them in the incubator too. A little longer? Yeah. That one looks very yellow to me. Rafiki didn't do his job. He, he gave not. us all duds. He's always on the wrong side. This one looks yellow. Shows it doesn't work. That one looks yellow. Oh, yellow. <laughs> I have this feeling I know what this one's gonna be. Uh, oh, like oh yellow. yellow, how did you know? This one, yellow, okay. okay. Two more, that looks quite yellow to me. And yellow. yellow. All right. Okay, so I do not think these eggs are fertile in the first place. Look at that. Okay. Well, we'll put them back in incubation and yeah. wait a couple more weeks and see if it's just really slow growth. Yeah, we were going to put them on vermiculite if they were fertile because they're supposed to use this for baby tortoises because when they hatch, they're dumb and they eat the perlite. Yeah. But they don't eat vermiculite, so we well, got they will. this. But it passes through them. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. This this can cause impaction, the perlite. Yeah. So you're supposed to incubate tortoise eggs on vermiculite for that reason. Sharon, can you your species just be smarter? They're not the brightest. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> they're cute. They are cute at least. All right, well we're gonna pop these back in the incubator for probably another month. But I don't have high hopes, so I think we're gonna end today's video here. Yeah. And I guess another video will come out if we end up switching the eggs over. If they magically become fertilized and develop and hatch, then there will be a hatching video. But I'm 99% sure these are unfertilized eggs. Yeah. So false alarm guys, we will not, I'm pretty sure, have le leprechada. Leprechada. Sulpurd. I don't know what Sulpurd. the hybrid of those two is called, but I don't think we're gonna have them. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support and good job, Sharon. <laughs> thank you, Sharon, for giving us a video. Yeah, thank you for getting those eggs out, at least most of them. Yeah. Good luck on the rest. Thanks for watching. See you next time.